Welcome back. In this fourth and final installment of How to Draw a South Park Character, we're going to learn how to draw a hat and its pom-pom. We're going to start with the hat band, and strangely enough we're going to use a rectangle to do that. So we're going to click and drag a rectangle about the right width here. Okay. And we're going to set the fill to red. And we're going to set the stroke to nothing. Now, next job is to convert that to a path so that we can manipulate it a little more. Right now it's an object. So, gonna grab it in the head and align them. And now I'm going to pick my node tool. And I'm going to grab this right in the middle. I'm going to pull it up on a curve. And then I'm going to grab the one below. And without being too scientific, I think that will work. I'm going to move that down a little bit. In that case, I was just using the cursor keys to move it. Our next job, we've got to duplicate that. Control D. Move the duplicate off to the side. We're going to click on the noggin. Whoops, we need to do some more ungrouping here. See if we can select just the head, control D to duplicate that. We're going to move that off to the side. Move over so we can see what we're doing here. I'm going to take my head piece and I'm going to move it to the bottom of this relationship. Take this band, move it to the top. going to align those along their centers. Just going to move that up so I can compare that alignment with what I have over here. In fact, we're going to do this. Hold those two up. This time I'm going to do relative to first selected because I don't want to move my original head. Align them like that. And when we're going to select these guys, and we're going to do the same thing. And that will give us very precise alignment. All right, now what we're going to do is select these two. We're going to go to path and to division. What that does is gives us separate pieces. I can delete the bottom one. I can color this one red if I want just so that we see where we're going with this. And I can color this top one blue. And then I can group these. Control G. And I can move them over place. Whoops, we need to move that to the top so that we can see what we're doing. So now if I were to click on the head, shift click there, I would align them on center. Align them this time according to their tops. Whoops, that didn't work. This is what I wanted, this one. And we're good to go. Now I'm going to take that whole fella, group him, shuffle him over here a little bit. 
our final job is to create the pom-pom. And once again, for that purpose, we're going to use tiled clones. First of all, though, we need to draw the stroke for a pom-pom. We're going to use the Bezier tool for that. Click, drag the distance we feel we might want it. Click and press Enter to finish. Now we need to set our stroke color. So we right click on the red, set stroke. Obviously our stroke width is a little thin, so we click down there or go Control Shift F. Go to Stroke Style. And let's try about 8 pixels, or pardon me, yeah, 8 pixels. Well, that looks just about right. The one other thing though is we don't want those harsh ends on it, so we're going to round those. And we're going to set about a 5% blur just to make it look a little fuzzy. Like it was made from wool. Now it's time to do the tiled cloning. Just going to elongate that a little bit with the path tool first. So we go to edit, clone, create tiled clones. This is a little bit more complicated than the previous one, but it's still a simple translation. We want to set, in this case, one row and six columns. That's all we need to set in this window. In here, we need to make sure exponents are set to zero, that we're shifting the rows on the x value minus 100 and the columns on the y value minus 100. We don't need to scale, but we do need to rotate. And in this case, six copies, 30 degrees, is going to give us just about what we need. So we click Create, and there is our pom-pom. We can close this off now, delete the original, We probably want to group these guys. Control G. Position them over top of. Now I didn't get the black shadows in there, but we'll save that for another day. Position that at the top. Maybe shrink it down a little bit. Whoops. Let's do it up here. Let's go about 65. We'll lock our aspect ratio. So that means it'll change the other value to 65. And we can just position it with our cursor key so it doesn't have to be perfect. No, not a bad pom-pom. If we decided that it wasn't quite what we wanted, we could go back to our fill and stroke going to have to ungroup it first. Go back to our fill and stroke dialog box and maybe put that up a little higher again. It reduced because we reduced the size of our pom-pom, by the way. Eight, yeah, maybe nine. And there's our South Park character.